Silver Grove East residents are calling for urgent action after multiple sinkholes opened up in their neighborhood, creating significant safety hazards. Fox News Caroline Petty joining us live to show you the dangerous conditions that have some homeowners feeling unheard. Caroline. Thanks, Jasmine. It's become an all too familiar scene here in Tower Grove East, where several large sinkholes just like this one have opened up throughout the neighborhoods, causing major concern for area homeowners. One large sinkhole opened in the alley between the 3500 block of Arsenal and Crittenden, creating a hazardous situation for residents and disrupting city services. Neighbors have filed four complaints since August 21st of this year, but the sinkhole nearly swallowed a garbage truck this week. As a result, the rest of the alley was unable to have their trash collected. So we're not getting any garbage uh, or recycling or green waste material picked up this week. St. Louis City's Commissioner of Streets told us they were unaware of how large the sinkhole has become until they received pictures from our team Thursday, but that the case file is now updated. It would be nice if there were some level of communication, tech service, or you know, email response or something to our residents on this block. We're all affected by this. Just a few streets down, another sinkhole at Arsenal in Louisiana is causing concern. It's about six feet wide, stretching over 10 feet along the sidewalk. Residents say Spire has been in the area working on gas lines, and this one in particular has been a huge eyesore. AT&T took over the project in late August and is waiting for dry weather to complete the restoration. The most staggering of all is on the quiet block of Potomac, where a growing sinkhole that we first introduced to you earlier this month has forced one family to consider leaving their home. The homeowner says since moving in earlier this year, the sinkhole has swallowed the yard, the sidewalk, and part of the street. He filed a report back in July, but little progress has been made. Residents are now reaching out to Alderwoman Alicia Sunye, hoping she can expedite repairs. And he, although Fox 2 did reach out to Alicia on multiple platforms, we've not yet received a response from her office. But a neighbor that I spoke with earlier said he had spoken to Alicia earlier this morning, and she's looking into it. Reporting from Tower Grove East, Caroline Petty, Fox 2 News.